Hey, this is Craig the Pool Man with Pool Specialist. Today we have a short instructional video for you on how to empty a pump basket and then also how to reprime that pump, assuming that you lost prime on it. So I hope this is educational and instructional for you. Okay, before you actually open up your pump basket, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to close all of your valves on the suction side. That way you don't lose prime. And so we're going to close our two skimmers and our main drain. This is our spa, which you can see the off there. And so that's closed. Again, from other videos, that is my off. There's a door under here covering that pipe a door under here covering that pipe, and a door under covering that pipe. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open the lid. And be careful not to lose your O-ring. If you do, you're going to have a lot of problems. You always want this O-ring to be nice and clean. So make sure it's clean. If it's clean, you shouldn't have to put any lubricant on it. If it's fresh, you shouldn't have to put any lubricant on it. And if you start to see when you bend it, that you get little cracks in it, it's time to replace it. And you can get by by putting a little bit of um, lubricant on it and making it through until you actually get a new one. Next, you're gonna pull your pump basket out and you can see there's a bunch of debris in it. So we're gonna go ahead and empty this out. All right, now that we have our pump basket emptied and clean, you'll notice that there's a hole in the front of it, and that will have to go towards the front of the pump. Doesn't matter what brand you have, this is gonna be the same. And most brands, it will only fit in in one direction. If you try to put it in the wrong direction, it, you would have to actually force it in. So it should slide in comfortably, and then what you're going to do is you're now going to put your lid on it, making sure that you have your O-ring in place, and go ahead, line it up, and then you would tighten it. So now, at that point, once you do that, you could go ahead and start your pump back up and open up one valve at a time. That way you won't lose prime. But for this video purpose, we want to show you how to actually reprime a pump if you do lose prime. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drain this pump basket and we're going to open the valves so that you lose prime so that you can learn how to actually prime a pump correctly. Okay, our pump basket is now empty. Again, make sure that when you put this pump basket in, that it fits in correctly and it goes all the way down. Then the way that we lost prime, of course, we forgot to close our valves. So we don't want to try and start to pump up without closing these valves. So we're going to close these valves and then we're going to fill the pump basket up with water. You don't want it too high because then it'll float the basket and then you won't be able to get the lid on properly. But we have now filled the pipe up in front of it and over to the valves and that's why I put the off farthest away from the pump so that I can have the most water available here. Then we put our pump lid on, tighten it up, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start our pump. And as soon as we start it, we're going to open up our main drain. So it'll start to ramp up. As soon as you hear it run, open your main drain. And it should start climbing up. Once it has a full climb, then you will want to open up your first skimmer and do that slowly. Otherwise, you can wind up losing your prime. Once it catches up, 
you can then open it up and then open up your last skimmer and sometimes you want to open it close it open it close it just to bleed the air out of it it depends on how far above grade the pump actually is and now you can see that this pump is fully primed and fully operational you always want to check the pressure on your filter you want to check the float light on your salt cell and preferably go back to the pool and make sure that you have movement in the pool make sure that you don't have any closed valves on the intake or the outtake because that could burn out the pump so very very important you want to see the water flowing you want to make sure that you have flow going back into your pool okay so once your pump is fully primed this is the main drain we're going to want to shut that down and put that on about a 45 degree angle because we're going to want most of our water coming in from our skimmers the more garbage you remove from the top the less garbage that you have in the bottom of the pool you do want some flow in the bottom of your pool just to keep the water circulating correctly so put that on about a 45 that will restrict the water coming in to the main drain and then you've got your skimmer and your skimmer thank you for watching our instructional video I hope you found it informative if you did please drop us a like and follow us thank you for watching and have a great day